Welcome, guys, to the second test match between South Africa and Bangladesh. A win here somehow for us would result in um, us consolidating a spot in the top two for the uh, test championship uh, final. Just made the one change for the team today. We brought in um, Hazma Razak. Going to stick with pretty much the same bowling unit. May play Islam. I'm going to bring Ruby or Huck in. Ruby or Huck's got a good average. Murad, bring our best four bowlers to the table and see how well we go. So the pitch has got a bit of C movement in it. So hopefully we um, do all right. Uh, we will bat first. And hopefully we bat reasonably well. This will really suit South Africa's bowling unit. Naeem smashes that for six. Over the top of the slips from Hassan. There's four more. Let's take the um, shine off that new ball, more importantly. Not the best of the conditions, anyway. Not that pitch really cutting up, getting sharp turn and everything. Uh, months we have done with a decent score. It's a lovely shot from Muhammad Naeem. Found the gap. Four runs. 50 up for these two. This is the three without loss. Pretty happy with that start. 70 without loss after 29 overs. It's a good solid start. It's exactly what we needed. Just good composed batting. We don't need to do anything out of the ordinary. Just got to get these guys through long spells. Tire them out. Get that pitch um, hopefully starting to deteriorate. Bouncer's average pitch is really good. Make the best of these conditions. Um, Naeem brings up a 50 and the 100 run stand between these two. We'll up our rate a little bit. Let's try and bat with a little bit more freedom. You don't want to get clamped down too much. An odd boundary here and there. Keep the run rate around three and over would be ideal. A bit behind that at the moment, obviously. But uh, Saif Hassan's done another good job. Another 50. Lovely shot. Four runs. Not chasing that. Beautiful shots. And Naeem trapped LBW for 72. Bring Shadman Islam to the crease. He's struggling a wee bit of late. He's only got an average of 31.94 this uh, season. Need that to lift a wee bit. He's just been picked because he is a classy player. He's gone for 10. Maybe his spot's in jeopardy. It's Abul Mahbub to the crease. See how he uh, fires, if he can fire today would be nice. Hassan, another start from the openers and the, none of them kick on. So if you sense, probably they've got a wee bit of an opening here now. Bangladesh have got to strive and work hard, get a couple more men established. This is good for Razak, good test for him and very very favorable um conditions for south african bowlers as the bounces aren't even pitches av average now this is exactly what we wanted hopefully that cuts up rough even more and post something decent three overs left in the day's play rabada gets a late wicket razak's gone for 27 brings yazar ali to the crease 30 for four. Oh, that is a sitter that's just been dropped. That's a big wicket. Um, potentially gone too. Mabu would have been um, just would have made South Africa stay. It's pretty even Stevens um, at the moment between these two sides. But yeah, one thing I very much like is that pitch. And it's going to suit bowling. Um, later on in the day, so we, we've got to make the most of that um, when we see um, those conditions. 
play a bit more freely now. South Africa getting through a lot of overs in this series. The bowlers will be fairly tired. Bangladesh have made them work for every wicket. Mahboob going for 57. Three guys getting the 50, none of them converting. Has one gone? So South Africa have really uh, toiled well here. And the wickets have really tumbled this session. It's just incredible collapse. Got to try and eke out as much as we can now. I'd say South Africa are, are, are favourites, just based on what they've done. 278. What were we at one stage there? Yeah, 5 for 267. We lost our five, last five weeks for 11 runs. The Asimas really did a good job of um, being disruptive and uh, doing a really good job. So Huck and Zaman. Just trying to hopefully pick up a wicket or two. Try and get some spin into the um, equation. No wickets tumbling yet. Zaman finally gets a breakthrough. South Africa were looking good. Now they've just lost a couple wickets. Really suits seam bowling this now. Rolofsson gone for 76. Both openers gone now. Let's try and get a bit of spin going. Just got to chip away like South Africa did really and just hopefully we get them around about the same score. We've got a really bowl there. Two seamers pretty much out. 248 for four, 68 overs. We only lead by 38 runs. And they have got six wickets remaining in hand. So they really have the upper hand in this match. Gonna have to bat well in that second innings. Just that collapse has really taken the sting out of this performance. South Africa will be very happy with where they are at. Probably should bowl a wee bit more spin now. Can we get them for about 360, 370? And then bat reasonably well on the surface. That's all I ask is just a good, um, a good fight. Three seventy four for eight. Now the innings is sort of wrapping up for South Africa. They do have a very handy lead. Just wrapped up the innings. Five for ninety two for Hassan. Key is can we bet for a long period here? It just gives them something to um, try and beat us. Oh, I'd like one eighty. As a chase for um, South Africa. But, uh, we're going to have to score around 280, which is going to be even harder now with um, Muhammad Naeem gone. So I'm playing a couple of nice shots. He's out of the blocks very quickly. Trying to get the bowlers out of his face. That had some zip on that delivery. Jeez, that went for four pretty quickly. Yeah, just one collapse in one session is sort of could define us in this series. The thing is, we've got spin. And that's what I'm banking on, if we can get something. Come on, guys, step up. really step up here. I know there's some quality in this batting unit to come. Got a lot of batting. A lot of guys that can dig deep for this cause. Pretty dicey run that. Fifty for Saif Hassan. Gotta convert now, pal. Really gotta convert. This is a chance to make a statement in this championship. Miss. 
So we officially lead again in this test match with nine wickets in hand. Rabada gets a striker, Hassan. Damn, Hassan, you're looking good too. It's a key blow. 125 for two, only lead by 23 runs. I think that's going to be the story of the game. There's no one converting him for that big 100. If someone converts to 100, we have got a good chance in this test match. A really good chance. Need support. Need players supporting each other. Leads just over 50 now. 50 for Islam. Rabada looks like the man that could really strike a few daggers. Just with his test career being exceptional. Over 500 test wickets is incredible for the man. He's not that old either. Could be around for a few more seasons yet. Pitch has gone down another deterioration level just in that wee moment. Erratic bounce. That is something that I could be happy with if we can just bat long enough. Mabu will be happy with that. He gets a four. Wasn't convincing. 213 for two. Another boundary. Starting to play a bit more freely, Bangladesh now. Taking the new ball. This will be the test. Islam. No. <laughs> You've opened the, 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 the door a wee bit here. It's a lovely cricket shot. It's 50 for Mavu. Who can be that hero for Bangladesh and get that big one, that big hundred? South Africa, we are a wee bit nervous with the bounce erratic and a lot of sharp turn as well. Coming into play later in days four and five if it does happen. Two fifty up for Bangladesh now. Closing on a 150 run lead. Mm, just no one kicking on to that um, big uh, 100, which is letting us down. Now the gates may have opened a wee bit. 263 for five. Yeah, it's opened up now. Damn it. Batted so well up to that stage. He day four, 267 for six, speed of 165. <laughs> Trying really, really hard to just get 20, 30 more. Can we get over 200 run lead? Day five. Razak, he's been dropped. 296 for seven now. It's gone for 10 off 79. He did bat a wee while. Um, Razak's going to try and farm the strike a wee bit. Yeah. Try and come on, get through that. Oh, he gets away with it. Razak. Can he get the team over a 200 run lead? He does. Okay. 50 for him as well. Huck's got to survive the over. Can he does. Three hundred and seven for nine. Can we have someone bowl brilliantly? 
hit us a historic win in South Africa. I think we beat them in the last series over here. Into day four, 318 for nine. 216 run lead for Bangladesh. Gets a lucky edge away for four. Every run is a golden run for us now. We really need to be streaky if we can. And he's gone for 71, Razak. So we've got a lead of 229 um, to play with. Erratic bounce. Everything sort of could be in our favour. Rolofsson trapped LBW. Brilliant delivery from Zaman. It's a brilliant delivery. And we've got the wicket of Rhodes. Good. Pressure's on South Africa now. Probably bowled this a couple of overs a spin. This is good. We've got the wicket of Milan too. So 36 for 3. They're teetering. On day five. 57 for three after 23 overs. We're gonna bring back the seam. Try and get them on that low bounce. They had fought well. 91 for three after 31. We desperately need another wicket. These two are getting it away from us. Morag gets a strike. Okay. Get those seamers a wee bit of a rest before we launch into them again. Are oh, they going to do it, South Africa? Okay, we're going down in this series, I think. Unless we hit a monumental collapse. They batted well, South Africa. Credit to them. They uh, made us collapse in one session. That was the difference between the two sides. So we'll be relying on results in this Test Championship now. So we're 40 points behind South Africa at the at this stage. Uh, we need to just win our next two series and move up the ratings a wee bit. Uh, there you go. So we're sitting nicely in seventh place. Uh, we've fallen down a spot on New Zealand. Uh, we hopefully we can um, regather our thoughts. Uh, we'll be back with um, a season review, guys. I think that's the last series of. Uh, the year and yeah um, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, test series between us and South Africa and we'll see you next time with another episode